so let's begin with practicing a few question uh, the first question is the diagram shows the speed time graph of a particle's journey and the requirement is find the value of t given that acceleration is 4 meters per second square as you have been explained that acceleration is the gradient of the speed time graph curve so first part of the question will be solved as follows 0 comma 0 t comma 32 and the gradient is 4 so 32 minus 0 upon t minus 0 is equals to 4 which is 4t is equals to 32 and hence t is equals to 8 seconds the next part of the question is to find the total distance traveled and if you recall you have been told that the total distance is area under the curve so this t is now 8 so this is 52 60 minus 8 is 52 so the total distance is half into sum of parallel sides that is 52 plus 80 into height that is 32 so the results turns out to be let's do the calculation it's half multiplied by 52 plus 80 that is 132 multiplied by 32 that is 2112 meters the last part of the question is to find the average speed the formula for average speed is total distance upon total time total distance is 2112 total time is 80 hence average speed is 2112 divided by 80 which is 26.4 meters per second I hope this is clear to all of you question number 14 states that below is the speed time graph use the graph to find the value of y given that the total distance is 1800 so in this particular situation you have been told that the total distance is 1800 the shape of the graph is a triangle so you will apply the formula half into base into height is equal to 1800 290 is 180 y is equals to 1800 upon 90 which is 1800 divided by 90 is 20 meters per second in the second part of the question the question states that the distance traveled in first 120 seconds first kindly identify where will 120 seconds be it will be somewhere here this is 120 and in order to find the distance up till here we first need to find the speed at this instant let's say this is s so in order to find the speed we need to find this gradient and in order to find this gradient we will apply the formula for the gradient that is area under the curve so this will be 60 comma y that is 20 60 comma 20 180 comma 0 and the gradient turns out to be 0 minus 20 180 minus 60 that is minus 20 upon 120 which is minus 1 upon 6 agreed 
so if this is minus 1 upon 6 then 60 comma y that is 60 comma 20 120 comma s and its gradient is s minus 20 120 minus 60 is minus 1 upon 6 s minus 20 upon 60 is minus 1 upon 6 let's cross multiply 6 1 is 6 6 10 is 60 s minus 20 is minus 10 and s is minus 10 plus 20 that is s is equals to 10 meters per second so this s is 10 meters per second this y was 20 meters per second so considering this you need to find the distance during first 120 seconds so let's consider this as a and this as b please realize that a is a triangle and half into base into height is 600 meters please realize that b is a trapezium and half into sum of parallel sides that is 20 plus 10 into height the difference between 60 and 120 is 60 so height is 60 and the result is half into 20 plus 10 is 30 into 65 that is 975 meters so the total distance traveled during first 120 seconds is 975 plus 600 that is 1575 meters I hope this is clear the next is question number 15 in question number 15 the diagram is a speed time graph given that the total distance is 3 kilometers please realize that the speed is in meters per second time is in seconds and the total distance given is in kilometers so first we will convert this into meters that is 3000 meters and you have been told to find the value of y to find the value of y uh, please realize that if i break it into a b and c the total distance will be 3000 meters so the distance of a is half into sum of parallel sides that is 120 plus y into height that is 40 b is a rectangle from 40 to 120 is 80 so this is 80 into y and please realize that c is a triangle half into base from 120 to 160 is 40 into height that is once again y so a turns out to be 20 120 plus y that is 240 2400 plus 20y this is 80y and this is 20y i hope everyone is following me and this the total of this turns out to be 2400 
प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस एटी हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वाई विच इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री थाउजेंड मीटर्स सो ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड प्लस वन ट्वेंटी वाई इज थ्री थाउजेंड वन ट्वेंटी वाई इज थ्री थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड दैट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड वाई ऑटोमेटिकली टर्न्स आउट टू बी थ्री थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड दैट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय वन ट्वेंटी विच इज फाइव मीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो वंस आई गॉट द स्पीड ऑफ वाई एज फाइव मीटर्स पर सेकेंड द नेक्स्ट task is to calculate the rate of deceleration during first 20 seconds after 20 seconds the rate of deceleration after 20 seconds is the rate of deceleration during first 20 seconds so this is 0 comma 120 and this is 40 comma y that is 5 so the gradient is 5 minus 120 upon 40, which is 5 minus 120 divided by 40, which is minus 2.875. But since it's deceleration, it will be 2.875 meters. Per second square. The next question is: the diagram is the speed time graph of a bus. Calculate the acceleration during first fifty seconds. So during first fifty seconds, the acceleration will be zero comma zero, fifty comma thirty, and. The result will be thirty minus zero, fifty minus zero. That is three upon five, which is zero point six meters per second square. The second part is to find the total distance travelled. Total distance travelled is area under the curve. Once again, I will consider this as a, this as b. A is half. Into fifteen to thirty, and B is half into from fifty to one forty. The time is ninety seconds. So half into ninety into thirty. So the result is half into fifty into thirty. Seven fifty meters and half into ninety into thirty is one three five zero meters. So the total distance travelled is twenty one hundred meters. Then the question says. How long it takes before it is moving at twelve meters per second for the first time? Uh, we will realize that twelve meters per second for the first time will be somewhere here. This is twelve. I need to find this t. In order to do so, I first need to find the gradient of the first part of the journey. That. Is already found in the first part. That is zero point six meters per second square. As you can all see, that we have already calculated the gradient of the first part, which is the acceleration, and it is asking how long it takes before it is moving at twelve meters per second for the first time. So zero comma zero. Zero comma zero, fifty comma thirty, 
had the gradient of 0 0.6 so 0 comma 0 t comma 12 will also have the gradient of 0 0.6 so this is 12 minus 0 t minus 0 is 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 t is equal to 12 and hence the value of t is 12 divided by 0 0.6 that is 20 seconds I hope everyone is following me and understanding it the next question is the diagram is the speed time graph of a car given that the total distance is 48 kilometers once again in this question realize that time is in seconds speed is in meters per second which means that we need to convert this 4.8 kilometers into 4800 meters and if we have done so the next part of the quest the first part of the question is find the value of maximum speed of y we know that area under the curve is distance and in this case it's a trapezium half into sum of parallel sides one of the parallel sides is 100 the other parallel side is 80 minus 20 that is 60 half into sum of parallel sides into height which is y is equals to 4800 so this is 160 y is 4800 into 2 that is 9600 and y turns out to be 9600 divided by 160 that is 60 meters per second the next part of the question is the distance traveled during first 30 seconds so first 30 seconds is this so we need to find the area of triangle and we need to find the area of this rectangle so area of triangle is half into 20 into 60 that we just found plus area of rectangle is the difference between 20 and 30 is 10 and length into breadth breadth is 60 so this turns out to be 600 plus 600 that is 1200 meters fair enough let's move on to question number 18 the graph shows the speed of a car during a 5 minute journey now please realize that the speed is given in kilometers per minute and time is given in minutes so be very careful about this the question says for how long does the car travels at a steady speed steady speed means constant speed please realize that it is traveling at this constant speed for 3.5 minutes but the requirement is okay so the, the requirement does not say whether we need to give the answer in seconds or minutes so we will continue to give the answer as per the question for how long does the car travel at a steady speed the car is traveling at a steady speed for 3.5 minutes what is the acceleration of the car during first half minute so during first half minute the acceleration of the car is 0 comma 0 and 0 0.5 comma 2 so the gradient turns out to be 2 minus 0 0 0.5 minus 0 that is 4 kilometers per minute square since everything is in kilometers and minutes I will give my answer in kilometers and minutes per second square also as nothing is mentioned as to how to give the answer calculate the total distance covered so total distance covered is area under the curve half into base half into sum of parallel sides into height so parallel sides are 3.5 and 5 and height is 2 so the result is 8.5 kilometers 
I hope this is clear. It was easy. The next question is the diagram is the speed time graph of an object which accelerated uniformly for 12 seconds. During this time its speed v meters per second at t seconds from the start was given by v is equal to 4 plus 5t. So you have been given the relationship between velocity and time. Uh, the first part of the question is to calculate the speed when time is zero. So if I know the equation all I need to do is put time as zero v is 4 meters per second. Then the speed after 12 seconds once again it is fairly simple v is 4 plus 5 times of 12 that is 64 meters per second. Then it is asking for the acceleration once again this is 4 as per the calculation this is 64 as per the calculation so gradient is 0 comma 4 and 12 comma 64 so the gradient which is the acceleration is 64 minus 4 upon 12 minus 0 that is 60 upon 12 which is 5 meters per second square then the question says average speed during the fourth second when I say fourth second it means that time is 3 and time is 4 fourth second is this area fourth second means the difference of third and fourth so we need to find the distance during the, the third and the fourth second so when v is 3 or uh, time is 3 v is 4 plus 5 into 3 that is 19 when time is 4 v is 24 and if you note this turns out to be a trapezium so half into sum of parallel sides that is 19 and 24 into height which is 1 difference between time 3 and time 4 is 1 so the answer turns out to be 19 plus 24 is 43 half into 43 into 1 is 21.5 meters so average speed is total distance upon total time which is 21.5 upon 1 that is 21.5 meters per second square the next question is the diagram is the speed time graph of a train which due to track repairs has to reduce its speed from 15 meters per second to 19 meters per second in 20 seconds it then travels at 19 meters per second for 45 seconds and then accelerates for 25 seconds to regain its speed of 15 meters per second calculate the retardation of the train during the first 20 seconds so all you need to do is 0 comma 15 0 comma 15 and 20 comma 9 so gradient turns out to be 9 minus 15 upon 20 minus 0 and the result turns out to be minus 0 0.3 that is 0 0.3 meters per second square I am not writing minus because of the fact that 